I've evolved. So I'm, I'm walking in the Boston Public Gardens. It's just this glorious, gorgeous spot. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. go towards this fountain here. Yeah, it's really beautiful. You doing my job, huh? And I'm just thought to share this with everyone, this beautiful spot. Can you hear that fountain? At the top is a is a man tending to another man in pain. Let's see if we can see it. I don't know if you can see what he's doing up there. Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, here in town, looking at colleges for my daughter. And uh, Boston has so many cool colleges. So this morning I got up early to do my, my Japa meditation before the sunrise, which I've been able to do recently. It's been really sweet. Uh, look at the sun coming through the leaves here. Uh, uh, Surya Dev. Surya Bhagavan. Surya Narayana. So yeah, so um, because of COVID, you know, so many things have been shut down here in America and of course everywhere else in the world too. So I um, I came to the temple in Boston, which we just happened to be staying near at a hotel, and it was all closed up, you know, and I thought, oh, well, you know, I kind of missed it. It's okay, you know. Normally they open at 4 o'clock in the morning for people to come and be part of the uh, morning service of Mangalarti. So I thought, oh, it's all right, you know. And I just kind of paid my respects and I thought, let me walk around the temple building. And uh, morning. And uh, the temple, uh, you know, walking around the temple is a real classic thing to do when you come to a holy place. Now look at this. Someone just dumped out a bunch of bread for the, for the ducks and the geese. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they must love this guy. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so, um, I thought, you know what, let me just circumambulate the block. The temple may be closed, but I'll just walk around the block just so that I kind of showed Krishna I, I, I was here and give him my love, even though the temple was closed. And so I went around the block and then I was going to head back to the hotel. Those, the streets were dark. And um, now look, hello, goose. <laughs> he was coming to talk to me. So then uh, I walked around the block and then I was about to head to the hotel. And then I thought, um, you know, let me just go right to the spot that I started, the, right at the front of the temple, just to complete my circumambulation around the temple. Let me just go and, you know, finish it. So, uh, oh, did I lose you there? <laughs> so I did that. So I went around and I went, and when I got to the temple this time, someone was sitting on the step and, uh, 
we said good morning and I said, is the temple closed? And he said, yeah, and then we started talking. And then one thing led to another. He said, would you like some prasad? So he brought me some sweets that had been offered to Krishna that, you know, it's, this is all pre-dawn. And then, uh, and then I said, can I chant with you for a little bit? And then he said to me, you know, uh, yeah. So we sat there saying, you know, and then, and then he's like, uh, you know, uh, hang on one second. And then he goes inside and my friend was there and he brings my friend Vanamali out. And then Vanamali said, come in. And so I put a mask on and came in the temple and it's just a couple of devotees, few devotees, but I got to do Mangalarti Kirtan. So then from thinking I was just going to go home in the dark, um, I ended up singing Mangalarti there in front of Gopi Janavalaba. So my morning realization this morning is that sometimes to show Krishna that we're serious, we just have to go just a little further. Like I, I was at the end of the block and I was going to head back. I had done my circumambulation, but then I thought, let me just go just a little further, right to the exact spot that I started and show Krishna, you know, that I, that I care. And suddenly the doors opened for me. I just thought to share that with you guys. All right, let's walk around a little more. Namras Prabhu, my favorite Kirtaniya. I love Muk Namras joined us here. Something very important is happening now that Namras Prabhu is here. <laughs> Before it was just a bunch of nonsense, but now that you're here, I know I'm blessed. Just walk in with my friends, chanting some japa. All right, you guys, love ya. Hari Bo. Here, let's walk around the garden. You can hang up whenever you want. Here, I'll be your like Ratiatra part, okay? Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhava Tume. We're doing a little Ratiatra here in the Boston, the Boston Public Garden. Jagannatha, oh look, here's Shalagram. Jagannatha Swami Nayana Patagami Bhava Tume. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra, Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. I have no idea what I'm doing. Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra. I've never done this before. This is completely insane. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. But I'm having a great time. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. Oh, look at this. So now I gotta, we're about to come to this beautiful section with flowers. So now I gotta talk longer just to make it make sense to keep you guys on the phone here. Look at that bubbling fountain. Boston Public Gardens, key. Jai. Let's see. Oh, look. It's Chaitanya Mangala Prabhu. So Chaitanya Mangala Prabhu has been showing us around Boston. He's been our Boston tour guide. My kids are like, he knows everything about everything. How does this devotee know everything about everything? I don't know. This proof was incredible. Okay, we got some kids in a fountain. And let's see, a tree, beautiful tree. Okay, you gotta stick with me because we're coming to these flowers. You gotta see these flowers. Ooh, Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra. This is because I missed all the Rathiatra this year, trying to keep it safe. <laughs> so I'm doing my own private Rathiatra. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, Jai Baladev, Jai Subhadra. Look at these gorgeous flowers. Isn't this beautiful? Someone from the news. Hello, sir. Are you on the news? I'm on uh, news radio, yes. News radio. Wow, look at this. Look how lucky we are. We're talking with a real news person. Look at that. I'm actually, uh, hey, how's it going? Jim McKay, WBZ News Radio, 1030, listen in. <laughs> I'm uh, talking to people this morning about the air quality issues we've been having. Oh, yeah, we noticed it's been a little hazy, yeah. right? Um, do you mind if I talk to you for a quick second here? Sure. Uh, While we're, you're streaming, we'll tell we'll we're stream. streaming. We're streaming live here. I'm yeah. not streaming live, but... Uh, <laughs> 
we'll have you on the radio. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow. We did not set this up. This is totally uh, this random. This is totally random. We just saw this uh, gentleman. <laughs> By the way, what's your first name? Gora. Gora, where are you from? Uh, Washington, D.C. area. Oh, you're from D.C. area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I spent some time in D.C. Worked oh, about nice. Worked four years there. Lived in uh, Silver Spring, Montgomery County. Okay, yeah, that's where we live. We live uh, oh, basically uh, uh, near Ashton, uh, near Olney. I don't know if you know where okay, South absolutely. of Columbia. Yeah, yeah. A, little bit, uh, a little bit more northern yeah. uh, Montgomery County. I yeah, lived yeah. Uh, right by the Glenmont Metro Station. Okay, yeah, we're not far from there. George yeah. Ave, yeah. Nice. nice. What's Met your name? Uh, Jim McKay. Jim McKay. All With right. uh, WBZ on News Radio 1030 here in Boston. What's All going right. on, my DC friends? What's up? What's up? I miss What's up? you. Yeah. Um, Come so on back. <laughs> <laughs> this is my home city. I came here, came here to work, and I love what I do. So. <laughs> Um, but uh, so, Gora, we um, yesterday it seemed to be uh, worse than it was today. It had that smoky smell. I don't I know. I did notice that a little bit. You, you yeah. did get that? Yeah, we, you know, it was like a haze. And I was like, I was walking around. My cousin lives here. And uh, we we were just like, uh, all of a sudden, towards the evening, because we, we did a little sunset ride down at the river. You know, I mean, at the, what do you call it? The, the water. Charles River? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Esplanade and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We rented some bikes and, you know, the sun looked like it was coming through a haze. It was like, we'd never, someone said it looked like the moon. Yeah. The sun looked like the moon. Yeah. So uh, I guess, and I said to my cousin, this is not normal, right? And it's like, no, this is coming from Oregon. Yeah. Coming from, coming from out west, just the way yeah. the uh, jet stream works. And it's even, it's not as bad as it was yesterday, but you got to, you can see a little bit of it this morning too. Oh, well, yeah, it is a haze, um, yeah. But New England right now, actually outside of where the wildfires are going on, has some of the worst air quality uh, in the country right now. Not is... related to the, not related to the fire. Oh no, no, oh, okay, a, okay. absolutely related to the oh, fires. It just okay. it kind of swims up in the American Canadian border and then goes smack dab down in New England. It's just the way that the jet streams oh, work. Okay. Um, but does it cross your mind when you're heading out? I mean, we have people talking about. You know, we had masks for COVID nineteen. Oh wow! <laughs> We're gonna yeah. need a mask outside. I didn't know I had to be worried about that. No, I, now I'm, I'm not... worried about. I'm like, I, I have to add it to my list of things to be worried about. <laughs> I'm worried about American politics. I'm worried about the state of democracy. I'm worried about. I'm worried about the air quality. Uh, I was already worried about my friends in Portland. Yeah. Well, I guess. Um, I guess we just have to do our best, you know, and um, and try and work together to figure it out and support those folks like firefighters and stuff who are out there, you know, it's really hard work. I know communities have been destroyed in those fires. And I don't know, my hope is that uh, things like this, instead of being another thing to worry about, they become something that brings us together, you know, remember the humanity of it all, you know. That's well put. You know, that's my feeling. There you go. Um, but is it, is, are you here, so you're here visiting friends? My daughter's uh, looking at Boston for a college. Uh -huh. college town, so we're looking at a few colleges. There, there. you go. Where are you going to yeah. be? Well, we're looking at Emerson, um, Boston University, and Northeastern, and then, uh, you know, her, of course, her mom's dragging her to Harvard, so she can see what the big boys do. Okay. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> this, this city is a murderer's row of great colleges, so <laughs> yeah. you're uh, a little bit pricey, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. that is it's an amazing city to, yeah, to yeah. be going to school and great food. I mean, we've been there's all these vegan restaurants, my family's vegetarian, so there's all these vegan restaurants we've been going to. Boston's a cool, cool city, man. All right, it's like the better version of New York, okay. <laughs> um, but <laughs> smaller, smaller, in, I don't uh, mean that all New Yorkers, <laughs> I was a joke, that was just a joke. Um, but uh, but in general, it's just you know. Just, you know, support firefighters, try to, you know. Well, I think try to. It just tr moves its way through the atmosphere, right? Well, you know, none of us really have any control over these things, you know. It's like if you believe in God, there's, at some level, you got to give it up to a higher power, some sort of greater wisdom. All I can say is that in a time like this, maybe we need to use whatever impetus we can to come together around something. And maybe the bad air here on this coast, uh, you know, is, t is telling us, hey, you know what, maybe we're all one group of people, one country, maybe we're actually all in this together. We need to learn how to cooperate to deal with our problems, you know? That's my feeling. I like it. Agora, <laughs> thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother. Such a pleasure to uh, meet you, and uh, hello to the streaming audience back in the nation's capital. <laughs> pleasure to meet you yeah. too, brother. See you, have a great day. Enjoy Boston. Well, thank you. Man, what are the chances, the chances of that? Going live, Boston Radio. Woo! Maybe it wasn't live. It's pre-recorded. They're gonna, they're gonna cut some of that, I'm sure. But uh, the one thing I forgot to say, I should have said, is Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama Rama Rama, Rama Hari Hari. Hari Okay, see you guys. <laughs>